It's a historic hotel in the northwest corner. The Yankee Piddler Inn is over 120 years old, but is it haunted? I'm going to sound like another voice, but I'm just trying to fast forward it to around two. That's the question this Massachusetts-based group of investigators wants to see if they can answer. The Dartmouth Anomaly Research Team investigates strange phenomenon in historic places, like the Yankee Peddler. They are joined by other investigators from Worcester Paranormal. They are at the Torrington Hotel in part because of the recent movie, The Innkeepers, which told a fictional story of hauntings at the hotel and was filmed here on location. You can't go into a building being a true believer. You have to take a skeptical approach. And a lot of the buildings that we've done, a lot of the historical sites, people will claim to have activity, but we've been able to debunk it. Through the years, guests have said they felt a presence in room 353. That's where the team has set up infrared cameras that will record all night. The owner, Sanjay Patel, says there's been plenty of stories about that room. There's one room upstairs that no one would clean by themselves. And that's room 353, which was actual, actually the residence of the colonies. And um, two girls used to have to clean that huh. because they found doors closing on themselves and shadows and things like that. Guests of the hotel have mixed feelings. Some people think that it's cool. Other people think that it's scary and they don't want any part of it. They don't want to hear about it. Or I've even um, I've had a guest like, oh, I don't want that room because somebody said blah, blah, blah. So and then they'd have to move in. You come right over to this little device. If you can see me wave my hand, you just go over to that device and you can tap on the microphone. You can tell me your name. Eric Lavoie caught something on his audio recorder, a low moan that could not be readily attributed to something else. Most things they investigate are not readily visible. Voices, sounds, overwhelming feelings, and changes in temperature. Lavoie says there are three types of manifestations. An anniversary haunt, something that happens year after year at the same time. A residual, which is an ongoing manifestation, like a continuing presence or noise in a room. And lastly, an intelligent manifestation where he says the presence interacts and even answers questions. I want to go back into that spot where I heard you possibly moan. Can you please do that again for me? Various things in the physical world must be eliminated as well. Ventilation, other people in nearby rooms, and electromagnetic forces, not only high voltage, but normal house current. As much as the team wants to find something, they also carry a healthy amount of skepticism. They want to disprove hauntings as well. Oh, but that's not to say that um, we haven't gotten a few things over the years that are unusual, and I would say that they're paranormal. The team hopes to have looked at the data and review all the recordings in the next month. They may not run across anything at the Yankee Peddler, but say if you keep an open mind, you'll never know what you find. In Torrington, Doug Stewart for CTNow.com.